Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another first impressions review. And this time it's going to be on Pink Flash Cosmetics. This is a brand that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. So here is the video for today. It's been a while since I've last played with makeup too. I had fun with trying out all these products. This is how it looks already and I'm super impressed with some of the products. So you'll have to see which ones are my favorites and which ones that are not really working out well for me. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so actually Pink Flash Cosmetics is something that I've been wanting to try for months now but I haven't gotten around to playing with it so I just, this is the time. So I ordered my package last 8-8 and today's Friday the 13th and it just came literally today and it was quite fast for it being shipped overseas. So yeah, that's pretty neat. We're gonna be unboxing them together so I'm just gonna open it. Pink Flash Cosmetic is super affordable too, that's why I really wanna try it. Because I am someone who really likes to try out new things and if it's like affordable, that's also a plus. Ooh, look, ooh, look at this like mailer. So I ordered two things. One is a set and the other one is a foundation which is like a sample mini size. For the other set, it was really a good deal because it's super affordable and you get quite a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna open this up. Ooh, this is a foundation that I ordered and I did not think that this was gonna be this small but I bought it for only like 60 pesos so I'm not really expecting like a full size of it. It's 5ml of product and I got the shade tan so hopefully this is my shade. I'm usually bad at picking shades when it comes to buying them online so hopefully. And all of the sets comes with a pouch and it's a really cute like pink neon pouch and it just says pink flash and also a little another like pouch thing. And this is what comes inside the set. I'm gonna go over it one by one. By the way, the set is, I think it's the third one and it's the red set because there's like pink, nude, and then there's like the full everything set. So I got the red one. So this set comes with a pink sponge. It's like a pink beauty blender. It's super cute. And it comes with four, no, five lip colors actually. Wow, I did not know that. So you get five lip products here. Three are lip creams and two are lip glosses. I'm so, so excited to try these out. It also came with a long lasting foundation. I don't know if it's, this is the same with this one. I'm not sure. I also ordered one thing. This didn't come with the set. This is the Pink Flash All Over Face Contour. And now this, this blush comes with a set. Then we have three eye products here. It came with the mascara as well. And this Lock All Day Eyeliner in black, of course. And an eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade gray brown dark gray brown so yeah let's go let's do it okay so i'm going to be starting off with my eyebrows first now i'm used to using eyebrow pomade so i don't really know how this will go but this is the incredible waterproof eyebrow pencil in dark gray brown so it's just your standard pencil so i'm just gonna fill it off camera so we could save us some time okay so i guess this is the best that my eyebrow is gonna be because i'm just not used to using pencils anymore but what i can say about this is it matches my hair color pretty well actually this pencil it's not super creamy it's just right in the middle it's not too stiff nor too creamy so i was able to work with the pencil i cleaned it up with a little bit of concealer but this is how it's gonna be for today i guess okay so next is our base i'm not gonna put on any primer since i want to see the effect on the foundation on my skin and how well it sits on top of it so i have two foundations here and i don't know which one actually when i was buying it i didn't know that the set comes with this foundation that's why i bought a different one this is the stay genius i don't know if it's like a different line or something but this is the matte full coverage foundation and this is in the shade 09 tan and this other one this is the pink flash lasting matte foundation in the shade f03 I'm gonna see the shade of this first because I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade. The packaging is so pretty. It's like a matte, as in matte pink color, and it's so nice. I feel like that's gonna be too light. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. 
This is such a watery foundation. I don't think I'll be able to pull this off. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Okay, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be using this today. This is too light for my skin, but first impression wise, when I squeeze it out of the tube, it's kind of messy because the foundation is very, very runny. It does have a scent though, a strong like moisturizer scent type. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with the Stay Genius foundation. If you like to travel, but you can't right now, of course, then this is a good foundation to bring since it's so small. So let's test this out. It's very handy. It comes in a pump. I feel like this is gonna be dark. Okay, first impression. This is very orangey. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. And it's thick. So I feel like it's gonna have some type of coverage. Ooh, this is not my shade at all. This also has a scent. And this doesn't smell as good as this one. But it's not super duper strong. By the way, I have an oily skin type, that's why I picked this foundation up since it's stated matte full foundation. So far, as I'm looking at myself and the camera and my mirror right here, it's definitely giving me glow. For the coverage, I would say this can pass as a medium foundation, definitely buildable. But the thing is, I don't think this is a lightweight foundation. I could definitely feel the foundation on my skin. It's not like super duper heavy, but you know it's there. So yeah, we'll see how it blends with the concealer and my powder on top. Hopefully this looks better because in person it looks super duper orange. So I'm gonna add my concealer and maybe just set everything in so I just don't look like a greasy mess and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've done the rest of my face makeup. So far, what I can say about this Stay Genius Full Face Foundation, I don't know, like, my concealer and my powder went on top, it went on smoothly. It didn't cake up or change up the consistency of the concealer, which is great. And as soon as I set it with a powder, it looks great now. It doesn't look as orange as it was a while ago. I was able to fix it with concealer and highlighting. Yeah, so far, I like the foundation. Uh, hopefully it doesn't cake up later or separate so yeah this is how it's looking so let's move on to the other products now <laughs> okay so before we test out the mascara and the eyeliner i'm going to do my contour first this is the all over face contour in the shade s01 i'm gonna put all the prices somewhere in the screen so i got you <laughs> so yeah this is how it's looking and let's just contour our face so i don't think this is gonna go wrong Ooh, as i swatched the product it felt really smooth Okay, so I can't really see anything much about the contour. Maybe it's a little too light. I don't know if it's not super pigmented or the shade is just too light for me to use this contour. But I can definitely see on my skin, the undertone is a neutral color. So definitely perfect for contouring. Maybe a little bit more pigmentation, but overall it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the blush later on. So I'm going to do my eyes now. I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow so that it won't look so plain and then we can play with the eyeliner and the mascara. Okay guys, so I just did my eyes real quick and this is how it's looking. I just did a super neutral eye look today since I didn't know what lip color I'm gonna be using later. So now we can move on to the eyeliner, which is my favorite part. So this is the Pink Flash Lock All Day Eyeliner in the shade 01 Black. So let's try it. I'm super excited. This is an eyeliner pen, by the way, so let's go. This is the tip. Ooh, looking at it, I'm already in love. So hopefully the formula is nice. Let's see. I think I found myself my favorite eyeliner. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I'm not having the best eyeliner day today, but that's not gonna change the fact that I really, really love this eyeliner, guys, and this is something that I would repurchase again. And it's super black. It's not like full-on matte black, but it's still really dark, and it's so pigmented, and I really, really love it. The tip of this eyeliner is super duper pointy, so you can really create a very sharp wing wing and overall again i really 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 like it okay next up is the mascara now so this is the oil proof curl mascara so this is how it looks like this is a pink a very light pink tube i don't know if this is gonna be matte as well oh no wait what it's a different kind of pink look <laughs> we've been fooled 
same color of pink it's so pretty okay so let's try it out oh no wait actually i'm gonna go curl my eyelashes first i just finished curling my eyelashes and a little bit of the eyeliner came off i'm not that surprised so i'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of eyeliner okay so now we'll try the mascara feeling and holding this mascara it's super lightweight honestly it feels like there's nothing inside this tube so so that's the wand Look at the bristles, it's so short. I don't know how well this is gonna go. It's definitely lengthening and it's not clumpy either. So that's actually okay. The formula of the mascara is kind of wet. It's definitely gonna go on your like lid space. It's not giving me any volume at all. As for like curling, not much as well. I don't know, this is just an okay mascara. It's not really anything shocking. So I decided to put on falsies last minute because I just feel like it would complete the eyes. And by the way, this is the lashes that I am wearing today. I got them off from Shopee. I'll put it somewhere in the screen as well as a link down below because I really, really love these lashes, you guys. And it looks super dramatic but at the same time natural as well so this is how it's looking i love it so i had to share it so i'm gonna do the blush now so this is the blush for today so this is the chic and cheek blush hopefully it shows up better than the contour shade okay so this is the color it's a bright corally actually i don't know if it still passes as a coral pink color Ooh, that's actually quite pigmented it's actually really pretty the color is very like soft it's pigmented it's definitely more pigmented than the contour color that we just applied earlier it's a little bit patchy i can tell but yeah there's nothing special about this blush it's just a matte pink blush that's all okay guys so we can finally move on to the very last product last two products which are the lip cream and the lip glosses i'm super excited so let's see what shade we're gonna go for today okay so as i mentioned in the beginning there are three lip creams and two lip glosses so for lip cream i'm gonna go with this shade right here so this is in the shade p01 Ooh, this smells good you know what? This reminds me of my Squad Cosmetics Multi-Purpose Matte Lip Cream. It smells almost like that. And this is a sponge dip, also similar to that one as well. It's like a flat doe foot applicator. Like a teardrop, there we go. Teardrop applicator. Oh, look at that. It's so pigmented. This color is definitely like a terracotta rosy type of shade. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. It's definitely a matte lip cream and it's super duper pigmented. It feels super lightweight on my lips. It's not sticky at all and it looks super like blurry and smooth too. So far, I really, really like this color and this product itself is really really good i'm super excited to try the other shades for lip glosses i have two i'm gonna go pick g03 this smells like nothing wait it has a very subtle scent of like four seasons i don't know if my mind's tripping on me anyway so same thing same concept a teardrop doe foot applicator and the color is super pretty let's go ahead and swatch it is pigmented you guys the lip cream is about dry now no transfer and this is how it's looking okay the consistency of the lip gloss is not sticky at all i'm so happy it feels like a normal lipstick but a tad bit more glossy but not sticky at all and it's definitely pigmented so you could definitely wear this alone without anything underneath i will be looking at the other shades this is how everything is looking on my face so i'm just gonna fix up my hair and everything and yeah i'll let you know my thoughts and what my favorite products are okay guys so i kind of fixed up my hair now and now i'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts on the products i tried out from pink flash cosmetics okay so we had a rough start with the foundation and everything but towards the end it became sailing smooth okay so i'm gonna give you my top three favorites okay so these are my favorite products from everything that i've tried today i can't list them in order first is the 
eyeliner. This is definitely going to be a repurchase in the future. I know that I'm going to be using this a lot when it comes to doing my eyeliner. Again, I've pretty much said everything earlier. This is definitely easy to use, especially if you're a beginner. This is going to be a piece of cake for you. Next products are the lip products, actually. I'm really in love. The lip cream is super pigmented. It's very lightweight on the lips. You can't even feel it there. And it, I feel like this is something that's very long-lasting and wouldn't bleed. I will be incorporating in my everyday makeup look. Super, super thrilled. And of course, the lip gloss. The lip gloss is is so nice it's not sticky at all i love it i can't say anything else rather than i love the product it's not sticky it's pigmented it's also actually moisturizing i feel like because i have really dry lips at the moment like my lips are busted at the moment so it feels really nice on my lips and i really really like it this too paired is a dream even though i have two types of lip products on my lips it doesn't feel heavy so i'm super duper happy about that i feel like the product that kind of disappointed me the most is the the mascara i feel like this mascara i mean it's not that i hate this product just didn't do anything much to my lashes I just don't care much about it yeah those are my thoughts and i definitely recommend for you to try it as well yeah <laughs> Okay guys, that's it for today's review. Again, today I've tried out Pink Flash Cosmetics. I'm happy that I've tested it. It's been a while since I've last done a first impressions review on one brand only. Hopefully this video kind of helped if you are looking for a sign to try out Pink Flash. So yeah, if there are any other brands that you would want to see on my channel or for me to do a first impressions review on, then go ahead and comment that down below. And by the way, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.